Hey, this is Winogira, and today I want to show you how you can uh, deploy lightweight HTML5 apps uh, with Git on the HANA Cloud platform. So, um, since today this is uh, possible, and as you see here on my trial cockpit, um, oh, sorry, on the cockpit of my HANA Cloud platform trial account, um, that we have a new panel here called HTML5 apps. So, uh, pretty neat. And uh, what we will do, we will create a little app which shows us the weather in Waldorf. So we will be using, um, and this is also described here in my blog post, a uh, service from Open Weather Map, and we will actually consume a REST API they provide. So the first thing we, and at the end it will look something like this, right? It's, called, it's a small SAP UI5 application showing uh, here the current temperature, um, and the yeah and the current weather in in Waldorf. So what we need to do at the end of the blog post, you see we have three files. So we just download all three of them to, and put them on our disk. So that's the first thing I will do now. Then we go to what has been downloaded and we just unzip it. One, two, three. So I just remove the three uh, zip files as we don't need them now. Move the trash. Okay, so now um, just also renaming, sorry, the neoapp.json.txt file to just neo-app.json. So removing the .txt at the end. Yes, I want to use JSON. I will be doing the same now with the index.html.txt, removing also the .txt at the end. Yes, use HTML. So now I have three files. Now what I do, I go to my trial account, I go to the HTML5 applications and click on new application. I give it a name, uh, I don't know, um, HTML5 weather app. So um, that's the name of our app. Click on Create. So now the application is created. I click on the app. And I click on the development panel here. And voila, you see you have now a Git repository um, for exactly this application. Right here it is. So it already has an initial empty repository with a commit ID here. So what we do, we just copy the link location and switch over to our Eclipse. In Eclipse, uh, first thing you need to do under your Eclipse preferences or in under Windows, under Window Preferences, to check if you have um, the right configurations um, all the right user settings on your Eclipse. So um, just ideally just take the ones that I put in here for yourself. So put those two, core dot auto uh, carriage return line feed to false, file mode to false, and then uh, create uh, an entry for your email address and your name. So the email address should be the email address that you use for your account on the HANA Cloud platform, otherwise this doesn't work. Um, and so also putting here your name, if you want to know how to do it, pretty easy, just click on, sorry, here, moving it a little bit on add entry, and then it's, I always say here, please enter a key, for example, user.name and add a value, and then it shows up. So do that, um, I already did it here for in this case, so nothing that I need to take care of right now. Uh, what I also did here, I enabled the Git repositories view and the Git staging view here on my Eclipse. You can do that by clicking here on Window, Show View, Other, and then you select the Git, repositor Git repositories and Git staging view, and that's it. So it shows up here the, at the bottom. So. What we will do now, let's go back again to our trial account, uh, to the source location of our Git repository link, just copy it to the clipboard. And now we click down here 
on clone the git repository you paste the URL in here you provide your user credentials the ones for the HANA Cloud platform you click on next you already see here that the master is pre-selected you just click on finish not much more to do so what happens now you see now that you have a clone of the git repository now on your local repository what we do we click on this right click and say import projects and we import this as a, a general project click on next and also finish okay so here we have it a local copy now of our um, repository of course it's empty nothing inside so what will we do now we switch to our download folder where we just downloaded three files we will be now just copy and pasting the neo app json and the index html file so right click i just uh, copy those two items to the clipboard now i go back to my eclipse go here to my project i right click and sim simply say paste and here they are i so I have the index HTML and the new app JSON file. Quickly looking into the index HTML file. Um, you can browse through the code later on if you want. So actually, um, this is the um, path that we will be using to access the um, uh, openweathermap.org uh, API. Um, so this is not possible directly, as I put it in above here, because of the cross origin. Um, uh, a policy on um, browsers so we will use uh, destinations here so this is the path uh, that the um, application will be using and the neo app json file takes exactly that path the open open weather map dot pass that we have here in our code here and we'll map it to a destination called open weather We'll come to that later so let's keep this as it is right now we go to the git staging view we see here we have three files one is the uh, eclipse project file so we can take that too no problem um, into uh, the staged stage changes so you just click on the three files after selecting them and you drop them into the stage changes you provide a commit message um, edit index dot html file and neo app json and then you click on commit and push so that the changes are committed to uh, the repository both locally with commit and with push it also uh, is pushed to the remote repository on our um, Git repository of the HANA Cloud platform for this project. I click on OK. So now let's go back to our uh, account cockpit here. Um, I click on again on development, and what we see there it is. We have added here a new commit. Um, so this is the commit message we just added to the um, to the uh, commit, but at the and we see that there is a required destination which is not available yet so that's easy to fix why is that because if you look into this neo app json file it says it's uh, looking for a destination called open weather which is not existing yet and that's what we will be taking care of right now we go to our account on our account level here we click on the account switch to destinations here destinations and then we click here and on import from file and now you take from the downloads of the um, blog post the openweather.txt file you open it now these are the settings for the destination we save it okay check here so changes are saved and might take uh, something around five minutes to be available so it depends on the on the load um, 
and some other uh, things, but normally it goes pretty quickly. So I'm just switching over again to the HTML5 applications, to the application, and to development. We see now that this is now the destination is available, and let's check if it's working. So I click on the index.html file. You see currently the uh, information is requested from the Open Weather Map um, API, and there it is. So 12 Celsius in Waldorf and light rain. So that's mainly it. So if you want to make it um, really nice and uh, also make it easier for others to consume your application, what you need to do is to create a so-called version of this file. Uh, so I will create one calling it version 0 0.1 and add it. Then I switch over to the, so once it is done, I switch over to the version management. And here I see there is the version available 0 0.1. I click on activate. So it will now activate this version. And if I click now here on the HTML5 application dashboard, I see here now the application uh, URL that I can share also with others. And if I click now on this, I will get the same output. It takes us some seconds until the API provides the results, and there it is. So you can now easily share this uh, link with, with others. And uh, assuming you would have now other versions here after working a little bit and playing around a little bit with it, you simply just have to activate a, a new version and then that version is available. But under development, you can also access all other um, commits that you all ever did on, on, this, um, on this project so um, that you have a very nice um, way here to track changes and to work with different versions of your HTML5 application. So that's it. I hope this was useful to you. Um, I will put also a link to the blog post on SCN at the end of this video. That's all, and uh, I hope you have fun with this new functionality. See ya. Bye.